I'm usually one who doesn't prefer to like really splurge on activewear. I always love getting in new activewear. It just definitely motivates me to get back on track. I am very methodical, so I love doing a schedule like this. Here. Oh. Here. And then there's different programs where it's like stretch. Hi. Hello. <laughs> that is a game changer. My favorite chords, singing you my favorite verse. You'll always be my favorite choice. Your name is on my favorite words. And I don't need to say it twice, cause I know you can feel it too. Oh my god, I'm so in love with you. Baby, won't you take my hand? Don't be shy. I know you don't wanna say goodbye. I'll be yours when you be mine. Thousand miles away and you might get hard sometimes But I know we're gonna be alright We'll be alright It'll take some time but you know that I'll be on the nice flight to Tokyo Gotta wait until they let me go Gotta make a couple thousand bucks But I love you babe, you know I'll be saving for the nice flight to Tokyo Will you love me till they let me know? I have been getting served ads for them for a while now and I finally decided hey I want to give them a try so I ordered a few pieces here the first one is their Arise sports bra and I got it in the gray color cute Ooh, very nice I like the fact that it does not crisscross in the back it's just open so when it crisscrosses I feel like it's sometimes hard to get on but looks really nice the band looks super supportive but still stretchy and then it does have boob pads in but we know i remove those because i don't like them but really cute sports bra and then to go with that i also got their leggings as you guys can see it is a scrunch butt so i'm excited to try that then it has their logo on the side it's the exact same material as the sports bra. They're from the same collection. So this is meant to be worn as a set. And I think I'm gonna wear this today for the gym. We're gonna do a little review on these pieces and see like how I like them for working out and stuff. But yeah, really cute. This is an Australian brand. So I think I sized up in both of these. Yeah, I sized up to a large in both of these because the measurements online were really small as it usually is when it comes to Australian brands, they tend to run a little bit smaller, I've noticed. So I just wanted to make sure that I was comfortable. So this is the first set. And then I got one other piece, which is the exact same bottoms, but in shorts, but I got it in black. So it's the scrunch, but same thing from the Arise collection. Oh, has a little something on the leg. Interesting. So I think I'll do this one tomorrow, but let me go ahead and change into the set right now and we'll do a little try on before I head to the gym. Okay, so here's the set on me. I love this. Like I'm usually one who doesn't prefer to like really splurge on activewear. I'll just get like the Amazon kind, Boohoo, Shein, just whatever's cheap and still does the basic function of activewear. So this is really the first time where I've actually purchased from a more premium activewear brand. Not that these pieces were super expensive, but it was definitely more than like the 10 to $15 per piece range that I usually stay in. So I can definitely feel the difference and I love the way it fits. I feel like both pieces are just so flattering. The bra feels really, really supportive. I also love this keyhole cutout in the back. Yeah, overall, definitely really loving this. So far, just from trying it on, I do recommend. Very cute, and I feel really good in the set. I kind of want to get more. Oh, and then also I forgot, it does have the scrunch butt 
I don't know how well you guys can see it. And then, like I had said, I'm gonna try on and test out the shorts tomorrow, which actually works out because it's leg day. And if I'm gonna wear shorts, I do prefer it to be leg day. But I'm really excited for the set and to wear it to the gym later this afternoon. I always love getting in new activewear. It just definitely motivates me to get back on track, which is something I've been kind of fighting to do since December. We went on vacation early December, which, you know, always throws off your routine and stuff. And then when we got back, it was my birthday, it was the holidays, we had so much going on under a ton of stress, so many plans that I wasn't able to get on a good rhythm. And then right after the holidays, unfortunately, Spartacus started having health problems. So that just like consumed my mind for like a good week. But basically since January, my focus has just really been trying to get back on track and just get in a good space fitness wise. <sighs> Sorry, my battery died. But anyways, yeah, I've just been fighting to get back on track and little things like this, like a new workout set or like new sneakers, which I just got. I'll show you them in a second. But those kinds of things definitely help motivate me to get back on track fitness wise I also love to put myself on a program and basically by that I mean I do the exact same workouts for each muscle group every single week until like I feel like I've gotten enough of that program or I'm bored and then I switch my program and do like a new set of workouts but the reason why I do that is because I love to see myself progress performance wise so if you're switching like your workouts every single week it's a little bit harder to notice how much stronger you're getting as opposed to for instance like if I'm talking about my arm program which I think I'm going to be doing today and I'm doing barbell curls every single week for my arms because I'm doing that exercise every week I'll be able to feel myself getting better and stronger at it the barbell will start feeling lighter than I switch to a heavier one as opposed to if I wasn't doing that every single week I wouldn't necessarily see that progression so I love putting myself on a program just because it motivates me because I love seeing that improvement and feeling myself getting stronger but like I said if I am like bored or I feel like I'm getting off track I definitely will switch up programs and I'll look up new workouts to put in my program that'll make me like excited to go to the gym like for instance I just started incorporating chest dips into my chest day workout and I love chest dips I've never tried them before I'm a huge fan and it's something that I want to see myself get stronger and stronger at because it is a new workout so on chest day that motivates me to go to the gym because I'm excited to do the new exercise and also see if I've gotten any better at it since the last week so yeah those are just some tips that I use for myself that make me excited to go into the gym obviously everyone is different and you guys may have other things that would motivate you a little bit more but those were just like some tips from my end that tend to work for me whenever I'm struggling to pull myself back into my fitness routine but I'm gonna keep working for a little bit and then we'll head to the gym and test out and see how well this new workout set performs and if it's worth it to spend a little bit more money on your workout gear. All right I'm about to head to the gym but I want to show you guys my new shoes. These are from Nike. I cannot remember the actual name of them but I will obviously have them linked in the description for once these are actually women's shoes i had tried to find these in the kid size but i couldn't because they're usually cheaper but it's all good these are size five women they actually weren't too expensive i think that they were just 65 dollars and if you weight lift the difference that these shoes make is amazing i did the squat rack with these and i have never felt more stable in my life when I was lifting than when I had these on. I didn't realize like how unstable you can be when you're lifting heavy weights when you're in like a running shoe and stuff. And it was one of those things where I like assumed unless you're competitive or something, you weren't really gonna notice a difference, but I definitely for sure noticed a difference. So if you're someone who's like dedicated to doing weightlifting as a workout, I would definitely check out these shoes because I am absolutely in love and also they're just they're so aesthetic. I feel like I'm gonna get them dirty really quick because they're all white but for right now they're really aesthetic and they make me excited to go to the gym just like this new set does. But I put my hair up in a little French braid. I like to do this on days when my hair isn't like too dirty yet like I could still wear it down that way I don't create like the ponytail dip but yeah, I'm all set. I just need to fill up my water bottle and then we're gonna head out to the gym. Like a garden of bloom, yeah, pollute in my style. Okay, nah, 
Y'all be fishy like trout, FIFA green like I'm grouch Ask and I may be soon, pray my homies as well Pray my homeland as well, and when I'm back to my city I'm bringing back on my belt Top down, shock and open up now Saw you outside, dude, baby, like now Back from the gym and just like a really quick review on at least like the leggings and the sports bra. Like I said, we will try out the shorts tomorrow. But for the leggings and the sports bra, like I had said when I did the initial try on, I do like how flattering the set is. I like how wide this band is because there's a lot of leggings that I get where this band is just like a little bit too short so if I pull it up to where it's supposed to sit on the smallest part of my waist then the band only goes to like here and I don't get any like help shaping this area which is where personally I need the most like support slash shaping so I like the fact that this band is wider and then even this part too still is pretty supportive so it still gives me a little bit of shaping so just honestly I'm obsessed with the fit of this in general the material is so nice one drawback I have is actually the butt scrunch so there's like an elastic that goes right down your crack which is what causes it to scrunch and gives you that like very flattering look but I think it just takes some getting used to because it kind of felt like I had the start of a wedgie the entire time that I was working out. So if you've never had one of those like scrunch butt things, just know this one, you can definitely feel it. But other than that, I really love it in general. No complaints. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's totally worth the price point. And then now that you guys can see me full frame, the length on these leggings is 7 eighths, but I am 4 11, so they are full length on me. So keep that in mind. If you see me full frame in them, they are not full length on most people. That is just a me issue because I am super short. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise fit, support, all of it really great i highly recommend this set the only thing that i think that would make the set better and improve upon it would be freaking pockets like i just i want a pair of pockets otherwise this set is pretty much perfection it's dinner time and i'm cooking up these chicken shawarma thighs from trader joe's you guys these are really really good if you haven't tried them before definitely get a pack of these because you can just like make the whole thing put it in your fridge and then you have chicken for like four or five meals it's fantastic but I'm making this along with some basmati rice I'm waiting for that to boil up then I'm gonna simmer it and then I'm also gonna do a little like Mediterranean Greek salad so I'm gonna get to cooking and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done here's dinner there's the chicken shawarma basmati rice and then I topped it all off with the Trader Joe's uh, tar seasoning because it's just it's so good and it goes so well with this chicken and then I also made this really delicious very fresh Greek salad I have cucumbers tomatoes a ton of Kalamata olives feta and then I just did oil red wine vinegar the za'atar seasoning again and then just salt and pepper but yeah dinner looks amazing tonight it's Tuesday and I just got an exciting package in. I don't know if any of you guys follow her or anything, but Needs on Raider recently came out with a new planner for her Mind Your Business program slash workshop. And I had been on the fence about it, but then she did like a little walkthrough through the planner. And I was like, that is literally like the perfect planner for me. It is structured exactly like how I would want my dream planner to be structured. So I ended up getting it and it just came in. Here's the box. It says mind your business on the front by Neats on Raider. I thought we would do a little unboxing. So let me open it up. Everything's branded. There's a little mind your business sticker here, mind your business tissue. And then here is the planner. I love the color on this planner. I think that it is so beautiful. It's neutral and perfect. Very, very into it. But here is the material is really nice kind of like a faux woven material in this really beautiful neutral color the mind your business on the front is embossed just a very sleek look and then it's got a magnetic clasp which I love again it just makes this look very minimalistic and streamlined there's no like snap button or anything since it just is magnetized and here is inside the planner we've got some stickers and this is how you can customize it so if I wanted to wait and start my planner in February I can move the months around and stuff so I really like that and then just like a bunch of really cute motivational stickers like you've got this know your worth self-love isn't selfish just super cute 
some travel stickers. Oh my God, this is so adorable. But then we've got a few pockets here for any important cards, like business cards and stuff. And then a bigger pocket here in case you need to like keep any important documents. And then the planner inside is a spiral planner. It says mind your business on the front. It has a little clear page to protect it. Then there's a spot here to write your name, who it belongs to. And then the first page is for just like a bunch of reflections, three things you're most proud of, three things you're letting go of, three challenges you're facing and how you'll overcome them. And then a bunch of goals. So personal goals, professional goals, habits I plan to adapt and my manifestations. So I love that just kind of kicking off the planner right off the bat with aligning yourself with your goals and everything. And then the first few pages are just kind of like a broad look at your year. And then that's where these little month stickers come in. Important dates you need to write down. And then here is where we get into the week. So you put down your goals for your week, the priorities, things you shouldn't forget, errands you need to run. If you have any habits you want to track, she has a little section down here and then just like a big brain dump which I love I love doing brain dumps and stuff whenever I get in a creative mode then everything from there is daily every day you're gonna write down something that you're grateful for your top three priorities your to-do list and then reflect on your highlight of the day and then your schedule this is the thing that really sold me I love scheduling out my day I am very methodical so I love doing a schedule like this so it has that daily throughout the rest of the planner now honestly I actually really want to dig into this but I think it'll be better what's today's date yeah, it'll probably be better if I wait until February to start. Actually, you know, no, I don't need to because this is broken up into weekly and daily. So that totally works for me. So I think I'll go ahead and start filling this out. This is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. Starting out with today about to head out to the gym and I have on the ECT shorts. I'm just doing a pump cover over the top. Here are the shorts in the black. I have noticed they fit a little bit tighter. They're the exact same size as the leggings but I don't know if it's the cut of the shorts or if it's the fact that it's the black material that's making it fit just a little bit snugger than the leggings fit. It could very well be the cut of the shorts, but also sometimes the way a material is dyed can decrease the elasticity just depending on how it reacts to the different components in that particular color dye. So I'm not exactly entirely sure why this one's fitting a little bit snugger, but it's definitely not so bad I can't wear it. You guys can see it does fit. It fits really nicely. It's just like I said, I can definitely tell it's snugger, but it has the same kind of like wide band that the leggings had which makes sense because this is from the same line and then it does have the scrunch butt I don't know how well you guys can see it with the fact that it's black but I love the length on these shorts I feel like they're perfect for working out I don't like it when my shorts are too long when I work out I just feel like I feel like it's not flattering on me because I am shorter I'm 411 so I definitely prefer it when you can see more of my thigh because if not it just kind of cuts me off in the wrong place and makes me look really short and stumpy but like I said these shorts are the perfect length so so far really loving the shorts I actually feel like so far I like them better than the legs Leggings, but I'm about to go work out, so I'm gonna test these out and see how they do. Freestyles, all the kids want it in Same ones who left me out of combos cause my skin Too, Yeah, I never fit in, now you're talking Claim it that I'm your friend uh, I can tell, I can tell who go ride for me Be beside for me, when I'm down for me I was there, just spares us to cry with me You are the life for me When I rush out, it's all down, shock and open up now Saw you out, slide through, baby, like now Pizza, you can put your feet up Acid like some Rita's back home workout was great the shorts held up nicely I expected them to since the leggings were great when I worked out pretty much it felt like just a short version of the leggings I will say the band right here on the thigh has a little bit of tightness not in a bad way but just to make sure that the shorts stay in place which is really nice so that way they didn't ride up or down or anything like that it was perfect they stayed exactly where they were supposed to so overall huge fan of the shorts definitely want to order more of the shorts I mean I'd order another pair of the leggings too. Um, whoa, what the hell happened here? There we go. The sports bra, 
I loved it. The only thing which I forgot to tell you guys about yesterday was that they put the tag for it like in the armpit like right here on that sports bra and it was like really itchy and stuff so I would suggest like trying to remove that if you get it because it might bother you just depending on if that kind of thing bothers you but otherwise very much a fan of Act Activewear. Definitely want to get more but yeah today was a wonderful workout and then I got to top it off with a hydro massage. My gym is putting together like a little recovery station. I think that there's also like one of those cryo Oh. Hey! Hello! Yeah, it's home! But yeah, anyways, I think that there's also one of those like cryo machines there. You guys saw the hydro massages, and then also they said that they're gonna get like those compression sleeves and stuff. So I'm excited for when the compression ones come in because they said that they're also getting a hip one, which I, I've never seen before. But yeah, I got to preview it today. Our friend is the GM there, a very old friend of ours. So I was asking him about it. He's like, if you wanna hop on after your workout, you totally can and I like want to use that every time I work out. Hi! Hello! <laughs> you should ask them to use a hydro massage next time you're in. So it's much later and if you guys remember in my 2022 resolutions I said one of the things I wanted to be better about this year was taking at least one night a week to just relax, have some self-care. So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. I've got a huge glass for my wine. This one is the Apothic Red and this one is the Winemaker's Blend. It's really really good. Like you guys it's amazing. I am doing a reel though. <laughs> relaxing but not fully relaxing because I'm technically doing work stuff but it's fine. Also you guys I learned from <laughs> Below Deck. This is how you hold a glass to pour that's why it's beveled on the bottom never knew that all right got my glass of wine and tonight is actually tuesday if you guys didn't notice that on the date card and that means that there's a new episode of how i met your father tonight i was a huge fan of how i met your mother back in the day until you know the end of the show where it decided to ruin itself because barney and robin are goals i'm really hoping that this like new reboot of the series does not make the same mistake at the end but we haven't heard about it basically it's how i met your mother but this time it's a female character recounting how she met her baby daddy i'm assuming because they haven't necessarily specified if she's married to the father yet and for my fellow millennials it stars hillary duff and then also if anybody else was crazy like me and used to watch the secret life of the american teenager which was an awful show writing was horrible storyline was horrible acting was terrible but there's just something about it that we loved anyways francia Reza, who played adrian in the show is in how i met your father as well along with if you're a fan of veronica mars his or private practice dale chris lowell is also in the show so huge fan of the cast that they have so far overall having watched the first two episodes i did like a little summary on my stories but basically if you loved how i met your mother i feel like you're gonna like the show and also if you like hillary duff you might really like the show because she is the star of it but in general i do like the show i'm a huge fan i want to continue watching i'm rooting for the show i just feel like they have some growing pains like the characters and the storyline just still need to kind of come into their own at times it felt like they were trying too hard to be how i met your mother and they just kind of Kind of need to figure out their own groove and then just kind of let the chemistry organically happen from there but that's something that tends to happen with a lot of shows in their first season you know they're trying to find their footing and i'm hoping that by the time season two hits the show is amazing so i'm gonna go watch that enjoy my wine i wanted to do a face mask but i'm not quite ready to go to bed and that's one of those things where i have to do it right before i go to bed so i can do my skincare routine afterwards so for right now i'm just gonna light a candle have some wine watch my show and then afterwards we'll do the face mask right before i'm ready to go to bed Okay folks, so I'm gonna go to bed soon, but before I go, I wanted to do a quick face mask. This one is as quick as it gets. This is the Versed Doctor's Visit Instant Resurfacing Mask with AHA BHA Complex and pineapple enzymes. And for this mask, you only need to leave it on like two or three minutes, so it's gonna be really, really quick. But you guys can see it's like a jelly consistency. But this just gives my skin like a nice healthy glow and stuff, so thought it would be a good way to just make my skin 
look really refreshed and rejuvenated in the morning. So I'm going to apply a thin layer all over, let it sit for a few minutes, and then I will be back to rinse it off. It's been a couple minutes. I'm going to wash this mask off of my face, but I wanted to show you guys these really quick. These are like terry cloth slash microfiber scrunchies, and I saw this trick from Lore DIY who got it from somewhere. I have no idea, but basically you get these and you put them on your arm like so and these will catch the water and absorb them when you're washing your face so that it doesn't get on your clothes or on the countertop so i wanted to go ahead and test them out but i got a pack of four with this like little peach design this pink one white and then green and white stripes but let's see if this actually works <laughs> All right, so obviously for my shirt it didn't work, but let's check out the sleeves because I definitely dripped down my arms and sleeves are dry. That is a game changer. Oh my God, and yeah, these are wet. So definite game changer. I'm gonna take these upstairs and keep them in my upstairs bathroom and then also finish up my skincare up there. But I just wanted to say good night. I'll go ahead and end the vlog here. Oh, I did want to note really quick though, if you've been interested in watching How I Met Your Father, I feel like the third episode, they've really started to hit their stride. I'm not saying that they've hit their stride, but I can definitely see that this is the start of them getting in their groove. They're figuring out which characters work really well together, the chemistry between everyone, and it was a very, very enjoyable episode. So if you've been wanting to watch it, definitely stick it out at least through the first three episodes to see if it's something that you really like. But anyways, that is it now. I'm going to go to bed. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.